God's Holiness, by Clyde L. Pilkington, Jr., For the Lord our God is holy, Psalms 99, 9. He appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness, as they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures for the ages, 2 Chronicles 20, 21. Many misrepresent God to mankind as a harsh, stern, angry God, full of wrath. In part, this is the byproduct of the religious system's faulty estimation of God's holiness. We have been seriously misled as to the true nature and character of our Creator. The Hebrew word for holiness in 2 Chronicles 20:21 20, means uncommon, that is special, as distinct and separate, that is set apart from the rest, from the common, it's defined as apartness and separateness. The idea of holiness is one who is set apart as special. Truly, God is uncommon and special. He is set apart and distinct from all of his creation. In what way? In many ways. In every way. However, scripturally, in what way is God said to be holy? What is the quality of contrast and distinction? It is God's mercy. When the choir of Israel sang the praises of God, it is quite interesting to note what they specifically magnified about him. He appointed singers unto the Lord, and that they should praise the beauty of holiness. 2 Chronicles 20:21. 20, Yet, to demonstrate the true beauty of God's holiness, here is what they actually sang. Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures for the ages. 2 Chronicles 20:21. 20, Man's many systems of religion would lead us to believe that the holiness of God overflows with sternest severity, anger, and wrath. But when the choir of Israel sang the praises of God's holiness, they specifically sang about His enduring mercy. This is so contrary to religious thinking. The holiness of God actually overflows with kindness, compassion, love, gentleness, and mercy. We learn this from the pages of the scriptures themselves. We see this clearly within the context of our passage at hand. God's holiness is unmistakably associated with divine mercy. We can also see the connection between the holiness of God and his mercy in the earthly life of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was Emmanuel God with us. Thus, the truth is that the one who is holy and separate from sinners was here on earth as a friend of publicans and sinners. See Hebrews 7:26 and Matthew 11:19. One telling passage about the true nature of holiness can be seen in the admonition of Paul, the Apostle. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. 1 Timothy 2.8 Ultimately, wrath and holiness are incompatible in the mind of Paul and in the mind of God. God's holiness is predominantly connected with his saviorhood. He is the compassionate and loving Savior because of His holiness, not in spite of it. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. Isaiah 43, 3. Yet further, Paul goes on to reveal to us that, not only was God the Savior of Israel, but He is indeed the living God, who is the Savior of all men. 1 Timothy 4, 10. This is the biblical view of the true and living God. This is the scriptural view of the holiness of God. Rejoice in him. He is a wonderful God. His holiness is beautiful. Thank you for watching.